I'm Charles Haycock and I'm at the Bay Area Classic Yo-Yo Contest. I've been yo-yoing for about 11 years. The first one I picked up, I went to Astoria in Oregon on like a family trip and just picked up a yo-yo in like some tourist shop. Um, messed around with that and then eventually my sister got me a, a Omega metallic missile and then I found the Omega website and they had tutorials on there so then I got like sucked into the whole internet portal where you just, you know, can entertain yourself for many years. I had a back injury so I had a lot of free time, you know, I wasn't doing sports which I usually enjoyed and then, yeah, I just I seem to fit my personality and I haven't stopped for like 11 years but maybe one day. Whoops! Me and Jensen started ART uh, company is to make sorts of, all sorts of designs that we were interested in and also be able to fund uh, more artistic projects, mainly videos and you know making routines and all sorts of yo-yo related forms of expression, I guess. So we look at yo-yo as more of uh, an artistic tool to to play around with like it's something that I don't know skateboard I guess is a good analogy you know skateboard as a world has the competition side of it, it has but then it has the more street um, artistic like freestyle side of it which is which sometimes has less to do with skateboarding even but it's, it's just using it differently and for us uh, the company is just a way to finance like ideas we have and the marketing, our, our like artistic projects work hand in hand as far as being a, a, a form of marketing as well. So then we sell yo-yos and it's this give and take between the business and the artistic side to help each other, you know. Not that we're the first to do it, we're just putting a lot of focus on, you know, maybe using the, the toys something different than, than competing with. But yeah, it's it's been really nice to have that freedom and, and just do whatever we want. Business-wise, I don't know, man. I don't think about that too much. I'm lucky that I have like another job that I do, so that pays my rent and stuff, so I don't have to stress out about, you know, if, if we sell enough yo-yos or not. But like business-wise, I would just like to be able to do more weird weird shit. Like if we if we get more momentum, we can do crazier things. And I'd like to eventually I guess uh, have our business viable enough that we can throw money at uh, bigger scope or bigger size projects. I'd, I'd like to run like a yo-yo festival, you know, maybe in, in several years, where it's it's more it's more like a like a convention type of thing, uh, more about the community aspect and and have like yo-yo show formats instead of competition. So promoting a bit more like uh, exp uh, artistic routines, I guess, and more wacky things like that. Yeah, that I guess that's my business goal, you know, I have some money to throw at that and, and have the time to throw at that as well. Well, we got the website a-rt.ca. We post uh, information on releases and stuff on our Instagram. The projects I like the most are posted on our YouTube, so that's the stuff I put all the time into. It's like all those video projects. That's just on, on A-RT YouTube page. Yeah. Awesome.